Hello Gemini, welcome to your reading. Let's look into your messages for the week of 8th until the 15th of July. We're going to look at what you don't see coming for this week. Okay, talk about what you don't see coming. Page of Swords, Knight of Cups, someone who has been watching. Hmm. Knight of Cups, Justice, there could be a Libra in the energy. This could be about, um, or in the picture. This could also be about like um, you staying in your balance, loving on yourself. So the Knight of Cups could be, could be Venus energy. All right. Or there could be an offer straight up. It could be an offer coming from someone who has been observing. Seven of Pentacles. A lot of introspection has happened here. Okay, what about Page of Swords? Learning, curiosity, watching. The star, Aquarius energy. So someone could be working on their healing here, embodiment, alignment with purpose, or they've been doing this. Four of Wands. So this is a major milestone that is happening. There could be a home situation here as well. Ace of Pentacles could be an offer coming in for you. Or this could be an opening. The Ace of Pentacles has been coming in for you, Gemini. So there could be something to do with an opening here or the path being cleared. And with the Seven of Pentacles that came earlier, it feels like you've been doing a lot of decluttering of recent regarding energy vampires, you know, everything to do with your home. Like your body your physical home as well it's like you've you've released a lot of recent and it's all been to clear out the weeds clear out what does not serve you i see ten of wands at the bottom of the deck so yeah whatever this is it's like you or this person have you and or this person have put in a lot of work okay The chariot, okay. So the chariot is cancer energy. There could be travel here, or someone wanting to travel towards you. Queen of Wands, Leo Sag Aries energy. This is about magnetism. So this could be your journey of magnetism. You could be on a divine feminine healing journey as well. Page of Swords. The Lovers. You're here showing up in your power. Um, the Page of Swords and the Lovers. There could be a soulmate connection, a twin flame connection. Feels like a decision is coming your way. Four of Cups. Now, this person is definitely not looking up. Looks like you may be disinterested in this. Or could be that this person is feeling depressed. Or not happy about something. The star and queen of swords. Someone is not happy about something regarding you. Ace of wands. So it feels like you have rekindled a flame here. This is about the solar plexus energy, magnetism. So Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, it feels like there's a lot of newness that is happening for you in the area of your stability, your grounding, your fierceness. I'm getting two words, fierce love, and there could be someone who is definitely not happy, happy about this. Four of Wands is clarified by Prince of Wands, so there could be a delivery coming in for you. The Sun. There could be a divine masculine energy in the picture. Ten of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. This is a new beginning for you. And this may be happening when we talk about new beginnings. Most times we may think, you know, like a big move. But this has been building up for some time. And it feels like you're coming to a major milestone this week. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Swords. So this is a heart opening process, it's expansion. Yeah, a lot of expansion going on. 
The chariot is clarified by Knight of Pentacles. So this Knight of Pentacles is a lot to do with like taking things slow. So you could be taking things slow at this time or something may be slowed down. You see the chariot with Knight of Pentacles, there could be something to do with uh, traffic. Um, or a hold up. So you can be aware of this at um, for this week as well. I'm getting something to do with traffic. Knight of Cups. Again. Yeah, someone may hit the road here. Someone who has taken time to bring an offer or... You see, the Knight of Pentacles is very slow. <laughs> very, very slow. But one thing you can be rest assured about the Knight of Pentacles is that they are solid. So this can also be about your own foundation. Yeah, but whatever this is has a solid foundation. Not only does it have that, it's... There's love here. So it's like you're living something that where someone is definitely not happy. You've had to build up yourself. And now this person is watching. I don't know how this will manifest in the physical. But you may pick up on this energy. And then you may find yourself doing some embodiment practices this week. It's like you're shining. You are building up on your... Like a lot to do with your core area, your truth, body language, magnetism. In the process, you are, you could be having some revelations here with the page of wands, four of wands and the sun. I feel like there could be something coming in for you. Now the eight of, uh, okay, I said eight, so ten of pentacles, ace of pentacles. There's something that is hard opening here. Or it may be that this situation puts you in a third party. Now there seems to be an offer that is coming in. So this offer could be from the divine as well, where you are getting to connect more with the divine. And the Knight of Cups and Knight of Pentacles could be you moving forward, you know, moving forward with your stability. There's definitely love here and a lot of stability and grounding that is coming for you this week. So this may come with a closure. At the bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands, once again. Wow, it's like it's been a lot of work. A lot of pressure. I feel like you're releasing pressure. Or this person, because I'm guided to put the Ten of Wands here. With the Prince of Wands, Four of Wands and the Sun. Someone could be... Yeah, I feel like they're taking off a lot of burden. And it will come with a... Yeah, there is a cooperation happening here. You could be cooperating with someone more and more. I see two people, so I feel like it's someone else. What do we have from the Chakra Wisdom? Forgiveness. This is coming in here. Facade. Workaholic. So you're getting to work. There could be something to do to um, regarding work here with the Ten of Pentacles. Could be work, family, but this has to do with your structure. Feels like you're ending this week on a very grounded and stable 
position, place. I'm getting a very grounded energy for you. Balance once again. Expansion. Angels and ancestors, what do you have for Gemini? Animal guardian, trust your instincts. Wise one, grow within your current situation. You've been growing with this. And as you have grown, you've also connected to your basic instincts. Perhaps this is why that grounding energy is coming. Investment. Invest in your education and make some big plans for the future. Take calculated risks, but save something to fall back on. Outside forces is coming in the inverted position. So I feel like you're winning. Yeah, you're winning against some outside forces here that may have... They've done this for some time. It's been a battle. And in this process, you've been connecting and grounding. And here you are. You have victory. Unknown... Unknown figures are driving the situation and you may not be able to control the outcome. This cycle will shift soon and you will be okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have relationships. So you're getting into healthier relationships. Um, it feels really good. balance so someone could be bringing you justice here this card may indicate a reluctance to change you may be hesitating because of the past but that doesn't mean you should be hasty weigh all sides before moving forward this can mean the start of a relationship proceed slowly I must create before the opportunity disappears. Running towards something may chase it away. Be wary of being deceived by your own desires. I take me with me wherever I go. Is there a part of my life that may be out of alignment with who I am? Health, matter, health, health matters. Compulsive behavior, dietary imbalance, hmm. being result-oriented, self-neglect, honoring values, assistance, courtesy, and support. So I feel like you're getting more assistance or you're getting to be, yeah, like there was something that came about working together or it could be both sides that are learning to accept assistance and that is on your journey of forgiveness, you know, compassion and all of that good stuff. Um... So looking back from the beginning of the reading, I feel like this is exactly what is happening that is building up for you to the end of the week or the middle of July. I'm getting both work and love. It's a good mixture. Forgiveness. Amethyst, which is the color of the card, protects us from toxic situations. This card indicates healing and allowing yourself to return to the natural state of peace once again. Remember, we never forgive others. We only forgive ourselves for loving others who betrayed us. This is a time of personal evolution. Facade. I'm guided to read everything in the facade card because it feels important. 
Personal comfort comes with this metallic energy and a deep need to discover your true self. Earthly values and care for others are also represented. Being cut off from feelings may be a challenge. Recover who you are and rethink your journey. This isn't who I am. The bronze boy, Darnell, was young when his father died and he became the man of the family. Out for a walk one day, many years later, he was mesmerized by the sight of children playing. As a child, he'd never played and he hid behind a tree, crying bitterly, then quickly buried his emotions. At the very end of his life, on his way to heaven, he stopped at the park and finally reclaimed the inner child he had left behind many years before. If you're unhappy in, a, in your relationships, hmm. so there's a lot of emphasis of relationships here. Okay, <laughs> new life is wanting to fly out. Let's see. You may get a fresh start or be called to bring a new perspective to your old job. So the old job could be any kind of relationship. It doesn't have to be a job. You may also get a tempting job offer or new place. If you are unhappy in your relationships, you may be relating to others through a false sense of duty. Give up being something you're not. So I feel like this could be a divine masculine energy. You could be this um, divine masculine. It could be your divine masculine component as a divine feminine. Um, it could also be someone on the outside. Bronze God is about reclaiming life. What have I done to heal my childhood pain? Key ideas are disassociating from yourself, reclaiming your life, healing childhood pain. The meditation is, imagine yourself as a child, running and taking flight. Veer off to the clouds and find a playground in the sky. Swing, slide, laugh, and if you choose, find other children to play with. Enjoy yourself. While you're there, you will receive a message of some kind. You can ask your child self if there's anything you need to know. Animal Guardian. Trust the powerful animal spirit within to learn more about yourself and your talents. You have a powerful animal within that can be wild, protective, instinctive, and even calm. Animals don't second guess how they feel. They just express it. And you can learn from that. When this card arises, it's important to connect with how you really feel, how you want to feel, and what you really need. Take the time to connect with your animal energy and express it naturally. Let even the fiercest energy move through you before returning to your natural state. It will teach you a lot about your gifts and how you can grow. So this is a lot to do with a wisdom, but then at the same time connecting with that child. So there could be a child in the picture because even the son has a little child and forgiveness as well. Even workaholic, yeah. wise one knuckle down be reliable and committed be open to wisdom and insights from your elders you're being reminded of how it feels to be let down and experience unreliability and that is not who you who you were born to be so keep working on what you're working on because it's going to be extremely beneficial for you in the long run. One more message for Gemini. Okay. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others.
Okay. It is easy to perceive others as being better than you. This is a trap of the ego. There is no one greater or lesser than you. There are only those who have learned how to reveal their gifts to a great to a greater or lesser degree. Everyone is born with unique abilities of the soul, and just like snowflakes, no two are ever alike. You have a unique perspective to share with the world and have come back this time to put your stamp on it. Perhaps you may not be aware or even in tune with your incredible and gifted self. Why not try to make a list of 10 aspects of yourself or abilities you possess that you love and hold in high regard? It is not always easy to write about yourself, but sometimes you need to be reminded just how special you are. Remember that you did not come down to this schoolroom by accident. You have meaning and a reason for being. You are a treasure chest of incredible gifts and insights. Now is the time to celebrate you. All right, Gemini, I wish you a blessed week. I'll come back with more videos. Do take care and much love. Bye-bye.